Hi all, I've just been playing around with my Commodore 64 and um, the SD card drive comes with hundreds of games installed on it and um, I've just come across one of my games that isn't on there. Now if anyone's not in not too sure how to get these to run it's the same as the 1541 disk drive um, I've got it connected on the back there I've still got the um, cassette port plugged in and I've got my action replay cartridge plugged in there and that's the screen that you get from the action replay when you first switch on so I'll just have a quick um, show, show how to operate this drive with the um, supplied utilities SD card. So what you do, I'll go to, um, you've got F1 configure memory, F3 normal reset. So I'm going to do a normal reset. Now when you're on this screen, there's a lot of light coming in from my window so I'm not sure if this camera's picking it up or not the screen. Uh, okay, so load, type in load, quote, star, quote, comma, eight. When it says ready, type in run. Now, this menu comes up. Now, all the Commodore 64 games are, are stored under C64 programs. So I use the cursor keys to go down. Now, the game in question that I couldn't find on there is this, Total Eclipse, it's like um, like driller type thing. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to load it in off of tape and then resave it as I have a blank card there. Well, I think it's blank. I'll check it in a minute. So I'll just quickly check to see again if Total Recall, sorry, the Total Eclipse is on there. So you go down to T, T, all games beginning with T are loading up. Right, so I want T O T T H T I T O. Here we go. All right, it goes T O P and then goes to T O U. So total eclipse wouldn't be there. I'm just going to pause for a sec. Right, so what I'm going to have to do is load it in off tape now. So I'll turn the machine off, give it a reset. Total Eclipse, 1989. Switch on. Now I must remember, take the, the disc that you get with the drive out and put the blank one in. But first, I'm going to check to see if there's anything on there. Now with the Action Replay um, menu you've got utilities F5 so I'm going to press F5 and now you've got F5 um, where we got F3 directory so I'm going to press F3 so oh I've got something on there called Sky so I need to take that off All right. normal reset um, right so now if, if anyone's not too sure how to delete a file off of disk or on SD card, which I'm about to do. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the command. I'll just pause it while I type it in to save time on the film. Right, I've just typed in the command to delete something off of a disk or the SD card, like I'm doing here. It's open 15, 8, 15, 
comma quote s zero colon the name of the program that you want to delete and mine is called sky so I've typed in sky quote colon close 15 so I'll press return right so now I'll go to the action replay menu F5 utilities uh, F F3 it's gone so this disk now is completely clear so turn it off to reset now I'm going to load in total eclipse off of tape now to resave to this SD card now with action replay sometimes it's best to save it with configure memory and sometimes it's best to save it with normal reset. You've got to experiment with it. You know, sometimes you get problems with the sound. Sometimes it's perfect. And sometimes uh, it just won't load in whatsoever. So if you do a normal reset and it won't work, then try configure memory. Or just try saving the actual game in different places. So <coughs> I'm going to do, I'm going to go for a normal reset on this one. F3. Press play on tape. Yeah. That's loading in, so I'm going to pause it while it loads. It'll be about five or six minutes on a full. Okay, it's just found total eclipse. I've got the squiggly lines. Okay, about two minutes has passed, and now I've got the the picture with total eclipse shown there. Still got the squiggly lines. Still got the squiggly lines. Uh, also, while this is loading in. You must remember to take the utilities SD card out, or you could put the right protect down just in case. Because you don't want to save for that. And I've got the blank one in there. Picture's disappeared, and I've got full screen squiggly lines. Okay, so it's loaded in off the tape. So now I'm going to save total eclipse onto this blank. SD card which I've got in the um, the SD drive using action replay so to save it what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the left hand button on action replay and you get this menu come up now I want F1 backup so I'll press F1 just wait a few secs Right, and this, this menu comes up now. Now, I've found that with the um, SD card drive, the only one that's reliable to save is C. You've got A, save turbo, B, save warp, and C, save standard. So I'm going to do C, standard. So I'll press C. Ask him for a file name, so I'll put total. And then press return. Now, the red light has come on, so it's saving it. So I'll just pause while it's saving. Okay, so that's saved. So it says press a key, and I've gone back to the main menu. So now I can turn the machine off to give it a reset. Take out the tape. Now, I've got the card in there which I'll save totally clips to so I'll switch on now I'll do a normal reset F3 now to load it in off of the SD card load quote total quote comma 8 after a few seconds it comes up with ready now I'll type run now that's loading in now the green light is on so I'll just pause it while it loads in so loading in okay off of the SD card so now 
this SD card has now got total eclipse on it. So no need for this no more. Now you do find in some cases that the sound might slight, slightly be different. But you do find sometimes that when the game finishes and restarts, it's all gone back to normal. Now, got my trusty old joystick here. Let's see if it works. Um, biplane there. The doorway. I suppose that is totally clipped. I suppose that sun goes across the uh, whatever that is, it's a moon or something. So I'm getting to this door. That's working okay. Can you shoot anything there? Oh. Shoot that block and it moves. Can I get any, I can't get this dog, is that? No, I'm blocked. Oh, I did get in. Right, so that's um, total eclipse. So now, I can put that in there. No need for the tape now. Now, another game that I want to save to SD card is Eclipse, uh, sorry, Elite. Because this is on the supplied card, but for some strange reason it's all in like a different language. I'll quickly show you. I'll do a normal reset. Load. Oh, I must remember. Put the disc in. Does help. Right, load, star, quote, comma, eight. And then run. The light coming in is causing the screen. It's all right on that screen, but I can see it clearly here. It's just the camera's not picking it up too clearly. Right, so I'm going to Commodore 64 programs. Let that load up. Now I want E for Elite. E. Now when E's, uh, all the games begin with E loading up. So I want to find Elite. There it is, Elite. Elite. Load that up. I'll just pause it while it loads. Okay, so I've just loaded in Elite off of the supplied card that comes with the SD card drive, and it looks like it's all sort of, I don't know, German or just um, go to the main screen. Yeah. I don't know what language that is. So what I'm going to do is, what I've just done just now, I'm going to load it in off the tape and resave it to an SD card. So I'll press reset. And remember to always press, if you do a, um, a reset with the action replay, always do a reset on the SD card drive. So I don't know if that was helpful to anyone. So there's the SD card drive, the my old bread bin Commodore 64. Action Replay V1. Connected to the television with the video lead. That's the uh, drive where it plugs in now. Uh, cassette and the other part of the drive where, where it gets its power is plugged in at the end there. So thanks for watching. <laughs>